Everybody's good? Alright, good, because I can't see anybody, so I'll make this shit a lot easier. Uh, well, my name's Dan. A little new with this, so whatever. Uh, basically, been through a lot of shit, a lot of things have happened to me. Don't let this Harry Potter demeanor fool you. I do not have a yacht, I do not have a millionaire mansion sitting on the corner of somewhere watching all over. No, it's not like that. But what I could do to discuss is some of my life stories, things that maybe you guys could relate to, a little craziness or whatever. So I used to like, before I met my girlfriend, who's somewhere around here. So anyway, so we used to go out with my friends, me and my friend Jeff, we used to be big drunk buddies, we used to go out to the city, get drunk, be destructive. Destructive means, you know, drunk and then cry, and be like, oh, everything's gonna be okay, don't oh, worry, you know, you're never gonna die alone, everything's fine. You know, so, like, one time we're in the city, and like, you know, same old usual shit, we're drinking and everything, and we find these couple of these girls. And these girls, they look interested, everybody's happy, everybody's like, you know, she's into it, I'm into it, I'm thinking, holy shit, this is gonna actually happen, she's actually talking to me. So, we're sitting there, we're drinking, we're having some good times, and like, it seems like, you know, they want to follow us, so it's even better. So we go to other places, to other places, and everything is coming along. Night is like, dwindling down, it's coming to the scene, you know, oh, well, you know, it's time to go, what, what to do next? Oh, what's the after hours place? You know, she's like, oh, she's really into it. Oh, I'm fucking excited, like, I don't know what's gonna go on next, I don't know what's gonna happen. So like, well, we live on Staten Island, so I know if we'd like someone to eat, but she's like, well, what a coincidence, she lives on Staten Island too. I mean, my, my mind's fucking blown right now. Like, I don't even know how to perceive this. I don't know what to expect. I don't know what to do next. So, I, like, it takes me all my strength to go, oh, oh, really? Really? All right, are you sure? Am I good enough? I don't know. I, I, I heard you know what I said out loud. So, so, yeah, anyway, so that happens. And, like, she's like, all right, so let's go to the island. Let's go to a diner. Okay, great, diner. We're on the train. We're holding hands, and you know she's looking at me. I'm looking at her. It's like all really sexual and like you know it's sexy and nice. And like the train goes doo doo, you know, and everybody's like waiting. You know, it's at the Whitehall station, and like I'm grabbing her hand. And, like we only know we have like a few minutes, like a minute to get to the ferry. And, so I grab her hand. And, like we're running. And it's like this slow mo like motion. Everything's perfect, you know. I hear all these muffled sounds. I can't make any like sounds out. It's like you can almost hear the voiceover. The beautiful is going. And now he knows it's going to happen. The perfect day has ended to the perfect night. The girl of his dreams is dot dot. Cho! Boom! I fucking fall and slip right on the platform. All water, sludge, it smells like raw sewage. I don't even know what the fuck's going on. At first it was like a bright white light. I'm like, what, I'm dead before I get laid? What the fuck is this? So like, I'm all upset, and it lands, and I realized that I landed in a puddle that was dripping from the ceiling onto the platform. And those muffled sounds that I was grabbing her hand and that lovingly embraced running for the ferry was the MTA employees going, Dick, it's wet surface, stop, stop, stop. So I'm fucking soaked. I'm disgusting. I'm not just wet, I smell like shit. It's like, what the fuck is that? Like, it's disgusting. So, I'm like standing there, so we walk to the ferry, and everybody's Joe Cool, and you know, we make the ferry. So I, I take what little, like, what little strength of dignity I guess I have left, and walk away from the crowd, my friend and like the two girls, and I end up like, crying, like, hysterically, like, so embarrassed and everything. And this other girl comes up to me, and of course she's like that last chance, you know, like that last call girl, and she's like, Oh, what's the matter? Everything's gonna be alright, everything's alright. No, not everything's gonna be fucking alright. And it was disgusting, it was upsetting. But that never happened. Never happened. No, it never happened. Shut up, fuck you. So, anyway, so that's like, you know, maybe like, the greatest relationship story. Anyway. I guess that's all I have to say right now. That was my one thing, and I wanted to say thank you for everybody. Yeah. All right. Once again, Dave. Daddy, daddy, sorry, daddy. daddy.